Now we'll take a look at how you can add some toolbar buttons to give you quicker access to reminder function. So if you go on the Firefox toolbar and click Customize, you can add a number of icons onto your toolbars. ReminderFox has several, including this ReminderFox icon. You've got an Add Reminder icon, which will launch the Add Reminder window. You've got a Calendar icon and the Quick Alarm icon. So you can drag those to any of your toolbars. You can use small icons if you prefer. Now we'll click Done and take a look at what some of these ReminderFox icons do. The ReminderFox icon, if you click that, is just going to bring up the Reminder List window for quick access. The Quick Alarm icon will bring up the Quick Alarm dialog where you can quickly add a, an alarm. The Calendar icon is kind of nice. That's going to bring up a, a little calendar if you want to ch quickly check a date. Um, it's basically the full featured ReminderFox calendar. You can hover over and see some of your reminders or you can click a date and it will bring up an add reminder dialog for that particular date. So it's a quick way to add a reminder. You can add it to either of or any of your list just by um, selecting it from the pull down. And so we've quickly added a reminder. Now let's take a look at how we can um, print some of your reminders if you want to um, view them as HTML you can right click and click view or print as HTML and you see that it's opened up a web page with your reminders and it's just going to show the reminders that are in the particular list that you're printing so here we go to our reminders list and you see it's printed out a, a big list of all of our reminders you can also select individual reminders and then select view or print and it will just show those particular reminders as an HTML page that's a quick way if you want to just get a list that you want to save or print. Some other things you can do is you can select a list of reminders and, and select export or send. Here you can save your reminders. So here we've just selected some. We can save them to a file or you can also send them out as an invitation. So here we're going to send using my uh, Gmail account. And I'm going to send this to uh, my cohort, Dan. But you see that the text body says message contains three reminders and is sent with ReminderFox. And it's actually going to contain an attachment with the reminders that we selected. So here's a quick way you can just send some of your reminders and share them with other people. You see there's the attachment. 